Hi, this is Terry from Terry Johnson Creates, and I want to show you how I turn my little penguin into a print and cut file to use him for my gift tag. This little guy came from the Silhouette store, and so if I do a search like I've just done on penguins, this is a page full of penguins that popped up. Now this is the little penguin right here that I used, and you can see that he is not a print and cut file. Now if you're not sure how you see that, it's because there's not a little P at the bottom of the file. So for example, these guys right here are print and cut files and you have that little P right here at the bottom of the picture that indicate they are already made into a print and cut file. And um, these, in the same regard, these penguins are a rhinestone file and there's a little R right here. In the same token, um, sketch files have an S with them. So that's just a little trick for the Silhouette Studio store. But this is the guy that I would like to use and he is not a print and cut file so I'm going to show you how we turn him into one. The first thing I want to do is bring an image of this um, penguin into my software. So I'm going to open the snipping tool which is found in your Microsoft Windows. I've just pinned that to my taskbar so I readily have it available and in order to capture that image I drag a box around him and I get an automatic um, copy of it. So now I'm going to go to my silhouette uh, library I've got, I already searched for Arctic Penguin and there he is and this is what comes up. Now, he looks nothing like my image that I clipped over there. I'm going to paste that now. So that's why I like to bring this in so that I can use this to give me a visual for what I want my penguin to look like when we're finished. The first thing we have to do is click on our design, right click and ungroup so it can work with all these pieces separately. And I'm going to kind of pull them apart. Whoops, before I do that, let me go back there so I don't lose his eyes. Let's pull all these apart like this so that you can um, we can work with them independently. Alright, so now I have everything separated. I like to work from the back to the front when I'm doing this so I'm gonna turn this part of his body black. I'm gonna go here to my open uh, my paint bucket, the fill color window, and I'm gonna select black. So now we've got the back part of his body. Now this is the front part and it technically is this background shape and then two little circles on top but I want this to read as one shape so I'm going to select it all right click and say make compound path so now silhouette views that as one object with the two holes cut out oops got to turn it into a color first I'm going to make it white and bring that over so that it's on top of the black body in the back. Now the next color I want to select are, is the orange. So we're going to select these little feet and this beak and I want those to all be the same color and the way I can make this the exact same color as what's in um, my image is to come over here and select the eyedropper tool. When I do that then I come over here, look, isn't that cool? It turns at the color of what it's touching. So now those things automatically become that color, the same color as my image. I'm going to take those little feet and drag them down. Now you're going to notice here that these feet end up going behind some of the, well, maybe not, maybe they're okay. So we'll just leave them for right now. So we're going to leave that one. Let me move it down just a smidge so it looks a little more even. Um, and select both of those and we're just going to put them up just a little bit more so that they're touching the black. I'm going to bring this beak. You'll notice when I bring the beak that it goes behind the white part of the body. So I clicked on the white part and I'm going to bring down right click and say send backwards. Now let's see, didn't do it. Let's try it again. Well, Let's, there's two ways to skin a cat. We're going to do this and say bring to front. And then I'll drag him over there and we've got the body on top of the black and then the beak on top of the white. So I get it about where I think it ought to be. Looking at my image, I might raise up my body just a little. Oops, it's way too much. Just a little bit. When I want to nudge things a little bit like this, I hold down my control key and then I use my keyboard arrows to nudge things just a little bit. And I think I'm going to do that with a little beak as well. 
so that's about where I want that there. Now I want to turn my scarf and the Santa hat red, so I'm going to select that and that. Oops, hold down shift, select both of those, and again using my eyedropper tool, I'm going to pick that color and they both turn the same. So I'm going to bring my scarf over here and put him about where it belongs there. Now I'm going to grab the Santa hat and bring that up here and put it about there on his head. And now I want to turn my two uh, trim parts white. So click here, white, and we're going to bring those over. This is going to come right up here. And again, I'm going to bring that to the front. And this is going to come here. And I'm also going to click on that and bring it to the front. Whoops, wrong thing. Hang on a minute. Grab the wrong thing. Click on the trim and bring to front. Okay. So now we're looking a lot like what our image is. Okay, so I guess you heard my dogs all barking in the background. I think the UPS guy must have come to the door and delivered something, so they all go nuts. All right, so now our little penguin looks a lot like the picture that we clipped and brought in. And so when I'm happy with him, I'm going to grab and select all of this, and now I'm going to group it. Now, when I click on the cut style window, Everything that turns a dark red is going to cut. And we don't want all this to cut out because we want it to print. So I'm going to say no cut. So now this is just an image. He will not cut at all when I get ready to use him in my tag. Now there's a couple of things that you might want to notice here that we've got a red line outside of that. So I can, um, let's go back and ungroup this. And here I can click on that red line and here in the white and say line color and say white. So now that's going to turn white. It's also here I can do it and make it white. And around the feet and the beak, if I want to get rid of those, I can use my little eyedropper and turn all of that orange. Um, it's also a red line around my black. So again, I can just turn that. So now he looks a lot more like. Now we'll group him all back together. And again, you can see that he still won't cut. So now when I'm ready to create my print and cut tag, I have an image that's perfect for doing a print and cut feature. Um, I hope this helped you. And now you can turn just about any image you purchase in the Silhouette store into a print and cut file. Thanks.